Relationship Advice My, 39 male, wife, 38 female, admitted that she planned our supposed surprise pregnancy and I don't know how I feel. I typed this all out and read it ate it, so I'm going to give the short version this time. My wife and I started dating in 2015 and dated for 3 years. In early 2018, I started feeling like we were drifting apart and that the relationship was reaching its natural conclusion, and I ended the relationship. Less than a month later, she told me she found out she was pregnant. At the time, it was presented like it was an accidental pregnancy, and that was the story I believed. Our son was born in September of 2018 and we got married in May of last year. We have a pretty happy marriage overall. I will say right now, that I am the more hands-on parent and more involved, but I've never had any reason to doubt that my wife loves our son. I just always wanted to be a dad and have kids and she never saw it in her life plan, another part of the reason why I felt like things weren't going to work, because I really prioritized having a family. The dynamic does work for us, and like I said, I never had any reason to suspect that she didn't love our son or enjoy being a mom. Basically, this came to pass because I was talking about having a second child. I'm one of eight, three full siblings, four much younger half-siblings, and I always wanted to have at least two or three kids, which my wife knows. So, I brought up having more kids because we're getting older, and our son is old enough now that it seems like a possibility. After dismissing me for several days, tonight my wife admitted that she actually planned her pregnancy with our son, but that she didn't really want the baby at all, she just wanted to keep me around slash knew that if she was pregnant, I wouldn't break up with her slash knew that I would get back together with her, but she planned it just so I would stay with her, and she doesn't actually enjoy having him, she just wanted to be with me. This hurt and upset me a lot, and I honestly don't know how to feel. On one hand I feel like, well, everyone got what they wanted so it's fine, right? But at the same time, I feel like I've been lied to for years and the fact that my wife admitted to not enjoying our son is weighing on my heart. Is it unreasonable for me to feel this way? What would you do if you were in my shoes? I wish I could go back to before I knew this and just continue living my life the way it was. But I don't know if I can now. Now for the top advice before we read the update. This is one of the worst things she could have done. She used an innocent baby's life to manipulate you instead of accepting that you weren't meant to be and move on. And even now, she doesn't really see anything wrong with it. Time to put all plans on hold, and go to individual and couples counseling. Chances are high that you won't get over this. Your poor son. I'm so sad for him, man. Like, unfathomably sad. I hope he never, ever finds out that's how his mom feels. I'm sure everybody feels this way but he's just the best kid in the world and I love him so much and I don't know how to cope with this. The hardest part is just the heaviness of knowing that she just sees him as the means to have gotten something she wanted and doesn't share this bond and love. Oh, I was told over and over and over that my father never wanted children, he wound up being abusive and is still, emotionally abusive to this day, and I'm pretty sure it's because he never even wanted children and, as it turns out he isn't even my biological father. The thought that people do stuff like what OP's wife did and use children to manipulate people without a second thought as to what that child's life will be like, is disgusting to me. Wow holy crap. So, in the end your mom chained you emotionally to someone to use as an emotional punching bag. People ducking suck. Yes. I'm in my 30s and just now finding all of this out. So, I've been an emotional punching bag for 30 plus years. And apparently my mom knew the whole time but kept me having a relationship with my father, her ex-husband, and I can't help but think it was to keep bringing in child support. So not only was I an emotional punching bag, but I was pimped out for money from birth until I left for college. Phew, it's been an emotional roller coaster, but I started therapy a long time ago, so I was really emotionally prepared to handle the life-altering news fairly well. I hope you're doing okay. These stories break my heart. I'm so sorry. Edit. I'm trying to go through and reply to comments, answer questions and so on now. When I posted last night, I really wasn't sure what the response would be. I feel like I need to be absolutely, 100% clear on one thing in terms of the content of some of these comments, I don't believe this is a characteristic of women, and I don't believe that all women are naturally manipulative or evil, or that men hold some inherent value over and above women. I think people, period can be manipulative and can do things to hurt others in their relationships, and my wife happened to do that. Now for the update. My original post got removed, for having a moral judgment type question, but that was the long and short of it. I sat down and had a conversation with her about the things she'd said, 
and wanted to make sure of where they were coming from and offer her support if she felt she was struggling. Ultimately while she decided to go to therapy to work through these issues, what she said on the outset about intentionally stopping birth control and then regretting it was true, and that she'd been struggling for two years with these things. I told her that if she couldn't picture herself being a mom anymore, or felt that the best thing to do was to step away, I would support her. So ultimately, we decided to separate and my son is staying with me. She may find her position changing with therapy and if that's the case I support her, but ultimately there's a lot of things that are happening, a lot of things that don't sit right with me, and yes, I feel hurt and extremely betrayed, so right now separation feels like the best possible option. It's been 5 days now and overall things are okay. What actually gets me is that her son hasn't even asked where she is, and she hasn't called to check on him, and that makes me really sad. I hope she finds what she's looking for in the world. Now for some comments. I remember your post and I mentioned that kids are actually intuitive more than you think. He probably sensed the detachment from his mom. Keep an eye on him, shower him the best love and support you can give. And never think you are alone. He will have a web of friends, grandparents, aunties slash uncles, cousins and godparents that will be his support. Don't forget to not neglect your own emotional needs. Speak to a therapist, talk with friends, unwind and find yourself again. We wish you well OP. This is so perfectly and beautifully put, I concur. You sound like, just, wow. I am so proud of how you handled this situation. It sounds incredibly difficult and I can't imagine all the nuances of what you are feeling, but I just want to say, good on you for taking on sole responsibility of your son, and being supportive of his mom even though that is a difficult thing to do, I'm sure. I just want to remind you, that you need to take care of yourself too. Whether that be talking with friends slash getting your own therapist slash spending extra time with your son. You take care of yourself too. Your son is lucky to have someone like you to look up to as he goes through life. You got this man. I hope you got legal papers on the separation and custody agreement. I know this may seem like it's too early to be doing this, but please document all these dates and times, along with when she does call slash write slash visit. Keep as much information as you can. Save all text slash email exchanges. If you end up going to court for the divorce, you'll need it all for full custody. Please do it for your son. If you end up not needing it, then that is a good thing. And make sure she pays child support. Now for the next story. I, 27 female, am 8 months pregnant and my, 28 male, husband wants to live the van life. I'm 36 weeks pregnant, and my husband and I had a huge argument yesterday. He wants to live in a van now so we can travel to more places and I told him that was ridiculous. He told me he's always supported me, and I haven't supported him on the one thing he's passionate about. He's never talked about this before. I told him there wouldn't be enough space, especially with a baby. He said you only live once, and he wants to see the world. He said COVID made him realize that. I told him I was not going, and I told him I was staying at a friend's house for a couple days. He blocked the door and told me I had to make a decision. I left and it's been 3 days and I'm going back after him continually spamming my phone. He said that I could even give birth in the van if I wanted to, to bring it good energy. I told him we both work and we can see the world without living in a van. He was adamant, and he yelled at me for not being a supportive partner, and then I started to cry. He later told me we can think about this later, after the baby is born, because the hormones are preventing me from thinking straight, making the right decision. I said I was sure I wasn't going to change my mind later. He reverted back to his old self, the guy I married, and said we could continue this conversation in a couple of months. Obviously if I had known this was his grand plan, I wouldn't have had kids with him or married him, because that's not the lifestyle I want to live. He's a nice guy and I don't know what to do. Do I just deal with this again when the time comes? Or tell him it's a definite no? Is this an early midlife crisis? I'm really stressed every day and I've only been getting like 4 hours of sleep a day and I have to work. Now for the top comments. Since he has never said something about this before, it sounds like he is stressed out and searching out escapes, however unrealistic they are. Van life, so September 2020, I'm on my sailboat unrealistic escape vision plan right now. And with a baby on the way and almost here, he is probably freaked out about being responsible for a family of three, just like Op is responsible for their family of three, and living in a van seems like a very low responsibility idea. A terrible idea though. Living in a van with an infant, I definitely wouldn't want that. 
If you are sure, then don't wait. Tell him straight and tell him that this has nothing to do with hormones, but that is not a way you have ever wanted to live. It sounds a bit like he is panicking, and fear the changes that the child will have on your life. That can be helped, but it is important to address it now and not let it run rampant. If he sticks to it and so forth, I would consider if it shouldn't be the end of the relationship. Also, his action of standing in front of the door and ignoring your opinion, is quite childish. Pushing it for later, saying you are hormonal and not accepting your decision, I would see that as a bit of a red flag. Blocking someone's way during an argument, is more than childish, it's abusive. Now for the last story. Husband not ready to be a dad, but we have a 3 month old. I'm 41 and my husband is 32. We've been together in all for 6 years, and we got married early last year. The entirety of our relationship, we discussed how we both wanted children. It was really important for him to wait until we were married to start trying, so pretty much as soon as we got married, since I was 40 by then, I wanted to get pregnant. We discussed this at length, alone and even with my doctor, both agreed it was time, and I had my birth control implant removed. A few months later, I became pregnant, and now we have a 3 month old son. My husband has changed completely since the baby has been born. He's no longer affectionate with me, in fact he avoids being home slash with me in general. He doesn't come home until hours after he's supposed to, because he's shopping or stopping by to visit his brother. He doesn't contribute around the house with the baby or other chars anymore. Maternity leave just ended for me and I've been completely struggling to keep the house afloat on top of working and doing the bulk majority of taking care of the baby. I've asked him several times what exactly is going on with his attitude and he just complains about being so tired slash not feeling well. Last night, I became so frustrated when he was supposed to bring formula on the way home, and he was hours late again. He wasn't answering me, so I called his brother who confusedly told me he hadn't seen or heard from my husband in a few weeks. After we hung up, I called my husband again and left that new tidbit of information on my voicemail for him, and of course then he called right back then. He was at a bar and I demanded that he come home with the baby's formula immediately. When he got home, we had a heart to heart about his issues. He told me he wasn't feeling ready yet to be a father slash have all of this responsibility, but felt forced into it because of my biological clock running out. So now I'm feeling guilty on top of lonely and exhausted. Short of therapy, because the husband doesn't want it slash think we need it, what can I do to mitigate his concerns about fatherhood? Now for the comments. The husband doesn't want it slash think we need it. Yeah, I don't really think that's his call. He has either spectacularly failed to communicate his true feelings to you, or is unclear on what they actually are, and it doesn't sound like he's offering up any solutions for working through this. But if he won't budge, go on your own and figure out what your next steps are. Where was her choice in the matter when he lied to her about where he was, where was her choice when he wasn't doing any of the emotional or physical burden of newborn care? Your husband lied to you about being with his brother. Ready or not to be a parent, lying about where he is, shows his disrespect towards you. I agree. If you have issues, just talk to me about it, not hide and lie to me. No one is truly ready to have a child, even if you think you are, when the child gets here you realize how little you know. But being a parent means putting the child first. Regardless if he was ready or not the baby is here now, and he needs to be an adult. He says he's not ready? That's okay. There are plenty of tools to prepare him, but if he's not even willing to learn there's not much you can do. Yeah exactly. Personally speaking, it did not matter how ill prepared I was. When that baby came, I did the opposite of OP here. Kicked it into absolute overdrive at the house also at work. Gave me an all new kind of meaning. Also, the first two to three years of a kid's life should and will take everything you've got, patience and energy wise, but I mean that's part of it grows one up quickly. This is all on him. OP you should feel no guilt. I'm surprised it's not anger. And that's the end of the video guys, thank you for coming this far. Leave a comment and hit like and subscribe if you like the content. I'll catch you in the next video. Good day everyone.